The Department of Translational Genomics built on more than 20 years of experience in genetic research at King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Center. Our mission is to translate the latest in genomic discoveries into clinically meaningful information for the benefit of all patients locally and globally. This spans the entire journey from patient phenotyping to their recruitment, in-depth analysis of their genomes, functional validation, communicating results and offering options to patients and families through culturally sensitive genetic counseling to the publication of the results. My name is Fauziana Koraya. I'm a professor of human genetics at Al Faisal University and the chairman of the Department of Translational Genomics at King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Center, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Consanguinity is not unique to the Middle East, but is certainly more common here than other parts of the world. In Saudi Arabia, there is, in addition to sickle cell therese and thalassemia, there are other variety of genetic disorders that we know are at increased risk. The risk uh, of uh, genetic diseases in the country is around three times higher than of the international risk because of the high risk of consanguineous marriages. For that reason, we see an enrichment of autosomal recessive diseases. We've also observed enrichment of a second autosomal recessive disease in consanguineous marriages that can reach up to 3% if the parents are first degree cousins or closer. Consanguineous populations tend to benefit the most from genomics. Molecular diagnosis tends to be easier because we're typically looking for a single homozygous variant. Prevention is also easier because disease causing variants in these populations can be identified preconception. The discovery of novel genetic causes will immediately benefit the families that gave us the privilege of studying them. That benefit then will extend to any other patient anywhere in the world with that condition. Molecular diagnosis is a critical step for these patients and their families to reap the benefits of personalized medicine. I can only talk about my humble experience with the individuals and families that I have served. The driving factor for them is to have uh, preventative options and to utilize them. My name is Lamal Abdi. I'm a scientist in the Translational Genomics Department, specifically in the Developmental Genetics Group. We receive many cases that are negative on clinical exome or genome sequencing. And for the majority of these cases, the causal variant is actually in a novel gene that has not been previously associated with another disease or another phenotype. And so we face a challenge linking the gene to the phenotype, but we have successfully done so for more than 200 genes so far. Very recently, we published a paper that summarizes our experience when analyzing difficult and challenging cases. We've also made some advancements in technological level challenges, and that includes uh, acquiring uh, long read whole genome sequencing as well as optical genome mapping. We've published more than 400 gene disease associations and counting. Each of these discoveries is important in its own right because there is a patient somewhere in the world whose molecular diagnosis could only be secured after that particular gene discovery was published. My name is Uhud Sleiman. I'm an American board certified genetic counselor. What puts me in this unique genetic counseling position uh, is the fact that from day one for the past 16 years, I've been bridging uh, genetic research results directly to clinical utilization. One of the things that I experienced firsthand is the importance of communicating preventative genetic testing in a very sensitive cultural manner. This could explain the high uptake in these services compared to what is present in the literature. There is a growing recognition that autosomal recessive disease represent a public health concern. This can be seen by the expanded coverage of the newborn screening program, as well as an ongoing effort to expand the premarital screening program. Having our own specific research lab and clinical labs is extremely important because when we test for a specific disease, we test for the common mutation within the Saudi community and therefore our chances of actually identifying diseases is much, much higher. Medical genetics, research labs, 
prenatal diagnostic labs, maternal fetal medicine subspecialists. We work all together in order to identify families at risk, trying to identify the mutation, reaching the mutation, offering them genetic counseling, and then eventually offering them the test that is more suitable for them, reducing the risk of genetic diseases within our community. King Faisal Specialist Hospital was and still is the front runner of genomics and genomic research in the country and the region. Our desire to continue to drive innovation comes from the obligation we have to demonstrate in practice that we are deserving of the trust of our patients.